Three years ago, me, my brother Billy, and his fiance Gwendolyn took on the mammoth task of restoring this stunning French chateau. At first, it was just the three of us. But since then, the whole family has moved in to help bring this place back to its former glory. And not forgetting the newest family member, baby Ernest. We do everything ourselves, from fixing the leaky roof, managing the vast 60 acre estate, to restoring the grand interiors back to the way they were a hundred years ago. It's not always easy, but that's what makes life in a place like this interesting. My name's Michael, and I'm going to be showing you what it's like to live, work, and play at Chateau de la Bamagne. What are you doing, Dad? Um, laying some bricks, putting a, a place of brickwork up to take the weight of the chimney stack. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's safe enough, but uh, we've got to fill this in anyway because it's uh, all exposed. Yeah, yeah, that flue pipe's going through now, isn't it? Flue it needs, it needs to be through. sealed so now, in, doesn't it? Now I can uh, build up a nice skin of bricks right up through it and tie into the bottom, the bottom of that. And, yeah. Uh, it'd look nice and make it. 100% safe. Well, what what happened before? You already built a wall here, didn't you, Dad? Yeah, but what it was. <laughs> you built it out of those um, blocks, the concrete block things. Built it up first, but then we didn't realise that the beam. We couldn't get the floorboards. So you've got to put another piece of wood in there. Yeah. Like that. So the last floorboards sit on that last joist there. Like the floorboards will sit on that, see? Yeah. On top of that. So, um, I, <laughs> what happened? I come in here in the night, didn't I, when you'd yeah. finished building it? I took, took it down. I took it down. <laughs> we came back in the morning and we thought the, 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 the block fairies had been and took them. <laughs> we couldn't see those up against this wall. When we walked in, we could see that. We yeah. couldn't see the blocks. And we thought, what the bloody hell are they got? But what we're using is these old bricks. So okay. where, where do these bricks come from, Dad? Come at my cottage next door. There was a... Um, in between the kitchen, I think it was another bedroom. Yeah. They had a, a, a wall right up through. So where your kitchen and dining room is, it used to be yeah, two rooms. Two rooms, and uh, this the, all these bricks was a wall that par partitioned it. Yeah. So we took them all down and cleaned them and yeah. stacked them around the back. I knew they'd come in useful sometime, and they they have. Yeah. So what's going to happen now is the original wall that Dad built was going to be hidden by like a stud wall. Um, and plasterboard that was going to come along here and it was going to hide the original wall. But what I've said now is because these are nice old reclaimed bricks, we'll leave them exposed. Yeah. So you can see this lovely old brick chimney breast in the corner. That's it. Yeah, it looked really nice. It looked really nice, yeah. And you're building it with um, lime mortar instead of um, concrete. They look nice. Good morning. Good morning, Sean. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. Just uh, come to uh, have a look and see what Dad's doing with these bricks. Yeah. They look nice, don't they? Yeah, I bet he had a Lego set when he was younger. What's that? I bet he had a Lego set when he was younger. They didn't have Lego back in the 1950s, <laughs> did they? Meccano. Meccano. Meccano, yeah. <laughs> Nuts and bolts. He can build a crane in half hour. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Sean. Good morning. 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 Good um, we didn't think of that first, did we, Sean? <laughs> no, we didn't, did we, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, it needs to be exactly 45 degrees so that the cooker, once the cooker's in, the worktops um, meet the corner of the cooker in exactly the same distance from the wall either side. So we've built it out from the wall here, and obviously you can see it goes closer there, so that when the panelling goes on, it's, it's, the right, um, it's the right angle. It was designed with adjustment in mind. Yeah, it, it was, yeah, that's what we didn't know this way. Let me say, yeah. But it's the right width, at least, so. <laughs> I'm the architect. Yeah, so I'm the architect, and the architect didn't do any plans. He did, he'd done it on the back of a beer mat. <laughs> no, I didn't, did it in the back of my head, I think. <laughs> Um, so this is the last bit. So we're just Sean's just doing the little cutout now, so that the um, 
where the flue, flue pipe the enters view. the wall, um, the panelling will be cut around it. Um, so there you go. That's the bit we was looking for. All right, <laughs> found it, did you? <laughs> so there you go, the flue pipe's gonna go straight through that gap now. No problems. Yep, nice safely packed away from it. Yeah, and the cables, originally the cables were higher than this. Um, they were in the wrong place, weren't they, Sean? They were above the flue pipe. Again, it was done with adjustment in mind. Yeah, so we dropped the electrical pipes below the, the heat now, so it would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> well out of the way. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Oh, it's looking good so far, isn't it? Yeah, yep, okay. Halfway there, roughly, got halfway. Yeah. But uh, it's looking nice, though. Yeah, and it's sealed that... Um, that flue pipe in there. So that's the flue pipe for the Argo, which is going to run up. This is going to come up, up through to there. Yeah, and obviously this one on the left is not going to be used, so it'll right. just be sealed up. I'm seeing it as I come up, see? Yeah. Put a brick in there. We'll meet up with these bricks here. Yeah. Um, we'll do something to tie it up. I wondered if we could uh, get some of these bricks once it gets to, once it gets to say here, it's, it's cut, cut some slithers off the front of these bricks and then just so it looks and just no, and just like sort of tile it. What you do is clean it out and point it. Well, yeah, if you clean that, yeah, that'd be Sorry fine. So it Otherwise, look, uh, it all looks the same. You, won't, you can't cut these because these are... These, uh, they're really soft and they're like biscuit. You can just um, yeah, they're, um, you can snap them. They're seconds, what they call seconds. Yeah, so they're, 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 good they're, they're, okay. only good, they're only good for interior, not out, outside then. Yeah, nearly there now. Yeah. Yep, nearly there. Nearly at the top. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, Try not to uh, yeah. kill myself standing on these. That looks yeah. nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Work of art. It is a work of art. He's a good boy, look how small he is, look at that. So just finishing the wall off, Dad? Yeah, getting some uh, up under here now, that'll be um, it'll really good. Yeah, so structurally now we've used like four bricks all the way up, yeah. and now where this um, the old chimney breast pokes Face out, we're, we're just facing it with these um, these bricks that we've cut in half. So they uh, it will look from the front it will look like a full chimney breast, but actually the top part is just decorative. There you go, Sean. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> last ones are going on then, Dad. Yeah, the last one. Topping out now. Champagne out in a minute, Michael. Yeah. I think it'll be a cup of tea. I think it'll be a champagne. Yeah. Oh, we definitely need a cup of tea. I will have a can of Guinness. Can of Guinness. <laughs> you need a half one, don't you? Oh, have you got one? Yeah. Oh. The one we prepared earlier. That's the one. Right. Well, I built the Arga. Um, well, I haven't actually built the Argo. What I've done is I've put this, um, we've put the plinth in. It's a bit dusty at the minute. Uh, we've put the plinth in and we put the Arga base on top of it. Um, we've leveled it up. Um, the floor's not quite level, but what you do is you level it up on washers um, and things. And then uh, if there's a discrepancy, you grout the, the under edge afterwards. So what I've done is I've used the old sides, the back and the other side there. Um, so obviously I've got new replacements for these parts, 
but um, just to get the actual height of the um, the top of the Arga so that we can put the flue pipe in, um, I put this old top on, I've got a new reconditioned one out the back actually, but um, this, this is the original one. Um, and then the flue box will go on here and that way we can um, we can put the flue pipes on top of the Arga and um, we can get the exact height where it's going to go through the wall because we now need to um, connect up the flexible flue liner that's going to go up the chimney to where the Arga is going to go. Um, and once that's done, I'll take this away. Uh, and But I've drawn a mark on the floor with pencil so I know exactly where it's going to go back to. So there you go. So I just need to um, get up there and line it all up. No, it ain't a screw on it. In the end of the it's fine. It just, it's just, it won't pull out, will it? It's the thing spinning on the, the thing ain't screwing in, Michael. Inside. Yeah. Right, yeah, it's got a little on the end. Careful. Move from this side there. Is it clear? No, it'll barely clear it, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're right. Five or six minutes needs to be pulled up. Hey? Only about five or six minutes needs to be pulled up. Well, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. Mm. Do it. Get it in first, then, then we can. Subscribe to Life of Ryan. Yeah, Life of Ryan on YouTube. Subscribe. I'm the cameraman. I've so taken I'm over doing it ourselves. Equity card, are you having a rehearsal? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Sorry, Michael. Sorry, Michael. Sorry, Funny, I'm here with you. Yes, telly tubby, telly phone. Right, stop. Stop. Do going up a bit. Taping up and yeah, that's good. Lovely. So these are the old vintage chimney pots. So they actually came off the chateau. Billy had to remove them because uh, he didn't need them anymore. Um, so we were just going to have one chimney pot on top of there, but we've, um, I've just realised that it's not going to go in the centre like I thought it would. It would actually have to go on the left, so there'll be one chimney pot on the left and then a gap at the side. But we do have two, two of these, so I've just um, thought maybe we could put two chimney pots side by side. Because um, the other one's just there, so we don't know. We've got these lovely old terracotta cows that go on top to stop the rain getting down inside. They look absolutely stunning, but um, I think it'll be quite nice for two. All right, go on, lift them on then.
Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? Perfect. Oh, that looks nice. Absolutely beautiful. All you need now is some smoke coming out the top. Oh yeah, there'll be some smoke coming out soon, just before Christmas. <laughs> Right, so we're just about to uh, insulate the flue with vermiculite. I've got four giant bags of it here. This should help it draw really well. Just need to sort of pour it down as, as much as it will take basically. Well, I'm not going to use any more than four bags. That's nearly 80 euros. <laughs> we're going down. Ooh. This stuff's going to disappear quite quickly, I think. I don't know, I'm not sure if it will fill right to the top, but we'll, we'll see. Just you wait, we'll get downstairs and it'll all be in there. It'll all be in the kitchen. I did block it up. It won't, won't, won't leak out. You didn't pick up the bag of cat litter by any chance, did you, Michael? No, you know, this stuff is really good for cat litter, actually. It's really important. Oh, I sliced my finger open. Very sharp. A bit dusty, I can't really see it. Anymore. You can mix this stuff with um, concrete. And it makes um, for insulated floors. Ah. No, we're not taking your terracotta tiles up. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Right. Uh, there, be is fine. A, there is a glove there. I'll be fine. How many more bags, Michael? I don't know, I can't see. It's a bit dusty at the moment. There we go. The cottage has got chimney pots now. It's complete. Right, so the um, chimney pots have been put on. Um, I've removed the old um, Arga pieces, but well, the, obviously the pencil mark is gonna show us where it has to go back. Um, and now let's just have a quick look at the flue pipe I put in. These cables have been moved um, down out of the way of the flue pipe. Um, and obviously in between where the paneling, and if you can see here, the paneling will finish there. And there'll be a layer of um, uh, ceramic wool insulation here, like a passive fire protection. So uh, these cables won't get any heat on them whatsoever. Um, and the flue pipe has been put in, which is secure. Um, and what I've done is the flue pipe's all been connected with uh, a fireproof silicon sealant that's capable of withstanding temperatures up to 1,250 degrees Celsius. So way, way, probably three times hotter than this flue pipe's gonna get. Um, and then flexible flue pipe before it goes into the wall has been wrapped with this ceramic wool insulation, which is also capable of withstanding over a thousand degrees Celsius, I think 1,200. Um, and around that I've put silver foil tape just to hold it all tightly around the pipe. So that goes there um, and then it goes into the wall and there's also another layer um, of passive fire protection and then um, as a cutout on the joist. So um, I'm also gonna pack this full of rock wall insulation, which is fireproof. So there'll be absolutely no heat um, on any of the joists. Um, and then all I need to do now is once the paneling's on, so the wood paneling is gonna come up to, up to here um, uh, and there'll be a, a 50 mil um, gap, which is the recommended gap between the flue pipe 
um, and a combustible surface, so it's about five centimeters, but we may make it about six. Um, and, but obviously it's got all this passive fire protection around the flue pipe. It's really, really good insulation. And apparently they use it in the space shuttle um, to insulate the people inside from the cold of space. Um, so it's really good stuff, quite expensive, but we need it. Um, and this piece of wood probably could do with moving over to the right a bit, but there's only a few screws holding it in. So we can do that easily. Um, yep, and then the paneling's gonna go up to it. There'll be a, ga a gap and then around it, there will be uh, an enameled um, metal rosette, which bridges the gap. So all I need to do now is when the arg is installed is um, I just connect my flue pipe to here. And then we've got a fully insulated pipe from this point, fully insulated right the way to the top of the building, to the top of the chimney. So all safe um, and all to the recommended specifications. So we won't have any problems.